In America, we have human rights. And our human rights say, this is mine, that is yours. Do not steal from my house. A liar steals from a man's house. A liar destroys relationships like a louse. And a little girl plays in the shadows like a mouse. Now, if I make multiple nursery rhymes, does that give back the resources of my life or my time? And the answer is no. But the magic of Jesus Christ is around you and me every day. But you still want to act and play. Your act is your lie. Your play is your privilege. But the life you took from someone today will never give you privilege. The liars of America are thinking, I'm in power. I'm in control. I've got this. The answer is no, you don't. America's sin every day against the Holy Ghost. They lose their lives to it every way. People don't regard the Bible in its full entirety because we don't have the entire Bible. The book of Enoch is very powerful for most people who are a part of the religious rite, meaning they are a Catholic priest or they are some sort of knight for the Lord. A knight for the Lord is what we must be raising in men, but a knight for the Lord means you return to God again and again. When you return to the Lord's house, you are praying for someone every day. When you're in the Lord's house, you experience God's magic in every way. And yet there are men who want to take away your rights in every way. There are people who destroy a life that's not theirs every day. And the liars of the world are both male and female. The men play on opinion. The women play on emotion, and God is pissed off that he creates all kinds of commotion. The commotion that you create in someone's life, the lies you exemplify in your own life, the alcohol you consume to give yourself more strife, the drugs you put in your body because you have no life, all of that is a form of Satan that you're worshipping. Your selfish desires of believing you're going to control someone's life show you're in league with Lucifer. When you're in league with Lucifer, you lose your life, you lose your wife, you lose everything in the world with strife. And you might succeed finally after a couple years of hell, but I don't know that you're really doing that well. You see, God can give you a life of ups and downs. He can put you in front of a lot of the world's clowns. But a clown is a boy who plays as if life doesn't matter to other people. A little girl is that bitch on wheel who lies to police officers because she wants the thrill of talking to a man in a military uniform, but she's still a liar just the same. God is displeased with those people who play rough in his name. It's hard once you experience the magic of the Lord to not want to win every time, but the person that you're trying to force to see their alleged sin is actually pointing back at you again and again. Your lie is, I'm in control of God's plans. And your lie was not what you did to produce the heaven's gate in your soul. Your lie was thinking you're over some man. When you chose that one for your life this second or third time around, you put yourself in major sin. And it will be found when you stand before the Lord in his house that you put blasphemy in your lips, you put ideology or ideology and iconology in your mind, and you didn't think what would happen to you over time. The liar in a family destroys the family as the patriarch and the matriarch go to God. And the liars in a family refuse to read the Bible to those who are dying in front of them because it will give them individually a spiritual revival. Preparing your family members who are at the tipping off point, the jumping off point, the walking into heaven's gate point is your job. And if you're a lying sibling, if you're an immoral child of Satan, you won't do it out of your arrogance thinking, mom will be good. 
dad is fine. That's the lie you told yourself. Your own mother prepared your father for walking through the gates, and openly now you're failing to honor your father in heaven because you will not wait. Your attitude is, I own this now. Your attitude is, he got more than me. The answer is, no, he didn't. The money doesn't belong to thee. All money in the world belongs to God. All earnings belong to the Lord. All food came from God. All people come from God. A human being's soul belongs to God. But you sit there in your arrogance of stance, your overweight stupor of overeating, overthinking, overanalyzing, overbleeding in some cases, and you think you're of God. If your life is not submitted in every decision to the Lord, then most likely you are not of God. If your life chooses sometimes to listen to the Lord, then maybe you have a little Jesus Christ in your blood. But Jesus Christ's blood does not forgive your sins today. Jesus Christ's blood does not give you free reign in any way, and openly God gives you free will so that you can turn your heart back to Him ever still. The lie you've told yourself is that you're representing God, but who proves that to you is no one in your life today. Your wife is displeased with you, but you don't care. Your children disregard you, and you aren't thinking, buyer beware. You've raised more selfishness into the world today, and your behavior shows this in every way. When you stepped across the line out of your individual family of choice into someone else's family of choice, you destroyed your life in every way. You are not in charge of your brother. You are not going to earn the love of your sister. You failed yourself when you forgot you have a wife, you have children, you have dogs, you have a house. You have bills, you have responsibilities as the man you are, and you are not any longer in your father's house. Your father has died and gone to heaven. He has been healed by Christ, but you have not talked about God in so long you think you're a God in someone's life. You want to play games and manipulate and lie. You destroy families with your lie. You ruined relationships with your lie. You stole from a man's home in your lie. You took property that doesn't belong to you to produce your lie, and you're still screwing yourself before God. You're masturbating to porn. You're destroying your family in every way. Your children don't trust you today, and hopefully no one will tell you because of your need for your way. Your need for your way is the relationship you had with your family of origin because you were in bit part a part of an abusive situation. Your bit part in that abuse situation decided your life not one second. You chose your life. You chose your vices. You chose your vanity. You chose your violence. And you chose to work against God's sanity. Your lie is, I own your soul. I own your ass. I will teach you you're not that man. That was a lie you told yourself. Motherfucker, you lied in that courtroom. You lied in that jail cell. You lied in that situation. You lied before the Lord. And when you lied before the Lord, what did you do? You stole a whole entire set of bags of a man's property before the Lord. You passed it around to your family and friends in your business, in your work, in your profession, again and again as trophies for your treason. You violated international treaties. You lied to yourself about your rights to follow, not seduce, to seditiously abuse. 